Hello my soccer universe. Let's talk about the draw. Boy, I have to say, if I take my Milan fandom out of it, I have to say in many ways it's a brilliant draw. Uh, I, have, I have to say I've rarely been as excited about uh, these types of groups. There is not one where I would say, okay, this is definitely a stinker. So I kind of excited about the whole thing so let's see i mean there's one group that maybe sticks out a little bit as not to, but we'll see that this group is also very very interesting of course from a milan perspective yeah there was a chance to get something a little bit more manageable uh but you know we'll talk about it all i could not see the draw live so the, this year you're not getting a live live reaction from me uh and last time it i had i had to take it down any anyway because uh because of copyright claims blah 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 so what i want to do now is show you the draw uh, if you haven't seen it uh give you group by group my initial reactions and then we'll analyze it uh where i will show you how strong the groups are in comparison with each other how this looks like now in terms of progressing and winning it. Um, go showing you then the updated favorites and of course uh, find, uh, also the winners and losers uh, of the draw. Um, so it should be kind of a pretty interesting but full video. It will be a lot, lot, lots of numbers. Even though not a numbers person, maybe you might not enjoy it as much, but let's see. How it goes. So here, ba -ba, is the draw. And right off the bat, I mean, A and B, those are two groups that just stick out. Um, group A, I mean, you have probably the two best teams in Europe at the moment, and I'm not discounting anyone else uh, in there, but I think Manchester City is the most complete team, and Paris PSG is the uh, most star studded team in there. So, I mean, just right off the bat, it's a monster draw. Then you add Leipzig in there, who gave PSG a little bit of trouble last season. So um, adds spice to, to, to this group uh, for sure. But just to have Man City and PSG in this group is already a huge one. And now add to the to it the fact, and I, at the moment it's not yet confirmed, but uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is potentially joining one of those two most likely Manchester City. So we could get another Cristiano against Messi duel in a complete warped world where Guardiola and uh, Ronaldo face Sergio Ramos and Lionel Messi. That ah, just something doesn't work. But uh, to me, this group has it all. Of course, as, as we'll see, Club Rouge is definitely not happy with that group and I think uh, most of the others as well because uh, Leipzig probably has to go into the Europa League. Not fun. Group B, I mean, talk of star-studded power. Uh, Atletico Madrid, the top seed, is the only team that has not won the Champions League in there. We have uh, two of the most story teams in there with Liverpool and Milan and of course Porto, who uh, twice sprung the upset and won uh, the European Cup and the Champions League each uh as i said from a million perspective this is a horror draw because i or maybe not maybe it's uh they they they, they add you uh yeah this is the champ champ champs league get used to it i think horror draw because i'm thinking of uh, wanting to progress uh and there are minimal chances i, I, I actually think that may, uh, many milan fans will now also uh see porto yeah maybe europa league you can continue i'm not so sure porto is vastly underestimated so i think it's pretty tough draw the one thing i think when milan qual uh, uh, qualified one liverpool fan contact my channel and say maybe milan liverpool can play in the group as i said no we only play finals there you go playing the group phase um i think milan personally milan will be lucky to get a third spot in that group uh but we have had to see i would say liverpool are the favorites in there Group C is one with a soft top seed with Sporting, um, not, do not knowing too much, not discrediting Sporting too much, but I think this is a group for Dortmund and Ajax. And that Dortmund-Ajax duel is interesting. And I think Sporting adds some little historical spice in there. I actually don't think much of Besiktas because Turkish 
Sokka is a little bit on the downfall. Group D, yeah, we almost had that last time, but this time it's a little bit easier. This was the group of death last year, but instead of Sheriff, we had Gladbach in there. Now, this is still a very interesting group because uh, can Schachter do it again against Real Madrid, beating them twice? And how will Inter do against Schachter? Can Inter for once progress or will Schachter go through? So I think this is a very interesting uh, group, new look in many ways. Group E is another group of giants, Euro European giants that I'm actually, I, it's a little bit overlooked because Bayern at the moment is not as fancy, although I have them at the moment at the number, number two spot, but if we know as the squad and Barcelona is kind of this transition there. And you know, there's memories of the 8-2, so uh, that will definitely be interesting, but then you can add Benfica in there, another huge name in Europe. Probably not on par at the moment with Bayern and Bar Barcelona, but uh, having Benfica in there definitely uh, counts for something. And then Dinamo Kiev is also not a small name in the European context. Still, I think that Bayern and Barcelona will go through there. Group F gives us a rematch in the Europa League. Uh, however, I think Manchester United should win this group relatively easily. And then it will be between Villarreal and Atalanta. Young boys. Maybe get a point here and there. Uh, if hard pressed, I know Villarreal is a tough uh, team to beat, but I think Atalanta, if they have normal form, should get through this group. But uh, I think it's interesting, but I think United needs to get through this group. Uh, there is no question about it. Group G is now the most unheralded group because um, it's all, you know, soft top seed. Sevilla is a good team, but more in the Europa League context, Salzburg. Maybe some CS exciting and Wolfsburg is like this um, non-herald non team. But I think this is a very even group. And I honestly have, have, have to say, I mean, the news in Austria was, yeah, Salzburg can do something there. I honestly have to say, uh, you have to be lucky if you make it into Europa League. I know Lille had a tough start to, 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 to the season, but Sevilla, to me, seems to be the clear favorite in there. Wolfsburg, not to be underestimated, had a great start. And yeah, I think Lille and Salzburg for places three and four. That's the feeling that I have. Now, Group H also made me chuckle. I mean, it should be easy for the two top seeds there, Chelsea and Juventus, because Zenit and Malmö will be tough, or will be geeky, will give it their all, but uh, they are clearly a class, if not two below. But what made me chuckle is that I think the last time that Chelsea won the Champions League, they also got a group with Juventus and then they were eliminated. Uh, please correct me if I should be wrong here. So uh, that kind of... Uh, I don't want history to repeat itself, but it made me at least jockey uh, to see it there. So, this is my personal opinion on how I see the groups. Let's look at the numbers. Here are the groups by rating, and you see black uh, dots are group uh, pot one, uh, red pot two, green pot three, blue pot four. And then I have, in kind of a cyan color, I have the uh, average rating in there. And you can clearly see that the highest average ratings are in groups A and B. And that actually really um, jives well with what I said before. We also see that uh, group C and group G are not as high, 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 high rated, although the sheriff really pulls down the average in group D. Uh, but it tells very much the story uh, of these groups. I am that you know you have in uh, group group A, you have City and PSG uh, far, far 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 ahead. Also Atletico and Liverpool, or the other way around, uh, tad I tad a tad above uh, the other other two. However, I think the cut of uh, group B, so the lowest value, is the highest in group B. So uh, that is also something interesting to see. And you see Group G is really, really, really tight. And the pot one team, Lille, is on the bottom. So yeah, uh, other good groups, we had uh, Group E, that's the Bayern Barcelona group, which, as I said, is, is a wonderful group. And then I think it is Group F, uh, the Villarreal United Atalanta, which also is an, in, uh, in, an in, interesting group. I have, I have to say, with the possible exception for Group G, there's not really a dot in there. And I have to say Group G, yes, you see Sevilla is ahead of the other three. But that it's so tight makes this group totally interesting. 
Now, I, as of uh, recording this video, I do not know any schedule yet, which would, would be interesting, but let's see uh, chances of advancing for each group. Again, group by group, um, we see that CD and PSG are heavily favored. I mean, Le Le Leipzig is less than a coin uh, flip. Um, Liverpool, Atletico, 17, 56% to advance. I mean, Milan for 41, yeah, not great to, 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 to be honest. Dortmund and Ajax, as I said before, as say, same goes for Real and Inter. Maybe Schachter can spring an upset. We have to see, like they did last season. So, no, it was Gladbach who, who came through the group. So Sheriff, Sheriff will make it through this group. Uh, you heard it here on this channel first. Bayern Barcelona clearly favored there, um, also for the group win. Then the next group, uh, you see that Man United is ahead, and then it's Atalanta via Real, as I would have felt it. Um, and then Sevilla, Wolfsburg, Salzburg ahead of Lille. I potentially can see it, but I'm not so sure. And then Group H should be relatively clear as well. Now, Winners and losers. What I did is now I compared the percentages, uh, the chances of advancing for each stage uh, and subtract it from the previous one and then divide it so to get a percentage change. And here we have the 16 winners in order. And uh, I, sorry, I thought for the group groups that we have to more evaluate uh, how did the chances of advancing to the round of 16 change rather than do it by win? Because as you can see already with Sheriff, I mean, their chances got cut in half, but their chances were very minor to, to begin with. So uh, we look at it with in terms of win, uh, what what is changed at the last um, stage. However, what we can see here is that Wolfsburg, yes, they are very, very happy. They, the, they had the biggest improvement because from uh, pot four, getting into a group where you have a very realistic chance of, of advancing is really good for you. I was actually surprised that Sheriff got such a, a good uh, improvement. Uh, Besiktas uh, also will be happy because they're in a doable group, but as so is Ajax. Salzburg clearly um, happy if you want to win it. I mean... I think they are all, always on one side you want to have, if you're a small team, an attractive group, which completely kills your chances. Uh, and if you're a bigger team or kind of in the middle, you want to actually advance. So, you know, I strictly do it now by ad, ad advancing. I think Salzburg maybe would like to advance. They, they are probably getting in that category, uh, have, have having dealt very attractive groups. Uh, in the last two years. But you know, Schachter and Real Madrid are all in there. So this tells you that especially this group D is a group where everyone is kind of a little bit smiling and liking their chances. So uh, very, very interesting there. Of course, where there are winners, they are losers. And I'm most surprised that Man City and PSG did not take as much of a hit. Yes, they are in one group together, and yes, they have Leipzig, but they are still so heavily favored over Leipzig that their chances of advancing actually only decrease by 7 or 10% respectively. Um, on the bottom, Club Rouge, I mean, you have no chance of advancing in there. Absolutely. Porto, I was a little bit surprised. Le Leipzig makes a total sense. I mean, Porto, yeah, you got probably the best team from uh, group from pot four and then with Atletico and uh, Liverpool in there. It is uh, kind of a toughish draw. Dinamo Kiev will also not like to play against Barcelona and Bayern in terms of sporting terms and Benfica uh, similar in there. And then we have Milan and Atletico um, not very uh, excited there as well. You know, you see kind of where, which are the tough, tougher groups. You can see it right uh, here. And then of course we need to talk who it's not a favorite to win. Manchester City, yes, their chances of winning it decreased. I think they were 11% yesterday and now they are 9%. Bayern and Chelsea got moved up and PSG dropped a little bit down. You can see some movements here, 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 here and there. Inter, of course, moving up. Real Madrid, of course, moving up. That's why suddenly you don't see them anymore uh, here. And yeah, Sporting also moving up because Porto completely... Uh, got down Ajax also one of the improved teams so uh, let you study this in any case uh, le let me know your thoughts on the Champions League draw uh, which groups do you like how do you think the group group groups will do you agree with what uh, kind of what I came up with here or you would see something different in any case give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon
Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel and click the little bell icon so that you can update it whenever anything happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.